What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Beamer Fam. You guys join me here with my BMW M4. And in today's video, we are going to software tune slash code the BMW using Carly. So I've owned this car for three months and I've done nothing to it. So technically, this is the first modification or customization, if you will, that I'm gonna do to the car. I now know what it's like to own a BMW M4 as BMW intended it to be stock. Uh, that is finally gonna change. That's three months too many. And with that being said, we're gonna get right into the video. So this car has been amazing to own for the three months, but it being stock, this has been my biggest complaint. And uh, with today, we're gonna change that and make the car louder without putting an exhaust system on it. So I highly recommend you guys getting the tool from Carly. Uh, very cheap, all links in the description. But all you have to do with this thing is you plug it in down low. Once you have it plugged in and the light is turned on, you now can customize your whole car. You can unlock hidden features, you can make your exhaust louder, basically do any, any type of coding you want and that you usually pay other people to do. You can do it all yourself from your smartphone. So this is, this is literally the new wave, it is the future of coding and uh, you know software tuning your car. So since I bought this car used, we're gonna use Carly's used car check tool that allows you to see if the car's mileage has been rolled back or basically any suspicious activity with this here BMW M4 from the previous owner. So after the phone and the adapter are connected via Bluetooth, we're gonna go ahead and click the use car check. First thing you can do is you can check if your VIN is actually valid and it is a real VIN. You can also see if the mileage has been rolled back or rolled forward. You can also see the previous owner's driver detail, their average trip length, how many trips they took, how long those trips were, and their average fuel consumption. So you can pretty much see if the previous owner was getting on the gas all the time or not. And not only that, you can see their average speed that they drove. So, like I said, if you're concerned about buying a car that has been hooned and has been getting it cracking properly and you just want to have it babied, kind of like how I am, I don't want to buy a car that's already been used and abused, this is gonna be your best bet. I'm also gonna do a health scan just to see what kind of codes have been thrown. If there's any codes on this car that haven't been reading out or you know, check engine lights that haven't been showing or anything like that, I can basically see the health status of the car by clicking check for issues. Uh, it's gonna, just gonna take a couple minutes, but so now that it's complete, uh, it says I have a couple issues, some not resolvable, ambiguous routing, SG is not the target you know, little little codes that are just normal for the car. You know, I don't I don't know if you guys knew this, but cars throw codes naturally all the time. So it l almost lets you know that the car is alive in a sense. So that is awesome. That as you see, the thing says acceptable. There's only a few non-serious issues with the car. So health status is good to go. Now that we've done the health check, the used car check, it's time to get into the coding. We're gonna go ahead and click customization because we want to code the car now. So we're going to click continue to coding. We're going to check for coding possibilities with the car. So I'm excited for this. Customizing the car to your liking in every specific detail. That's what I'm all about. This car is officially going to be no longer stock. And I'm excited because in the next video, this car is getting tuned. So we already have an exhaust lined up. Okay, so we have 11 possible ECU coding tunes. So let's go ahead and click OK. I'm just gonna see a few a few codings like for example when you start up the car it says M4 right in here I can make it say M performance uh, BMW just like the non M cars uh, but because it's M4 I'm gonna make it say M4 so this is actually where it gets pretty cool so on the iDrive start logo when the car starts up right now I have the M performance where it shows the M nice and flashy on the screen but you can actually change it to a Mini Cooper startup screen and a Rolls Royce screen. And you can also do BMW Christmas and Alpina. So I'm gonna keep the M, you know, I like the OEM feel. I'm gonna keep the M for that. Not only that, you can uh, set the video in motion so you can drive and watch movies on the same time on the screen. So definitely gonna do that. Until I get the exhaust, I can actually make the sound that comes in through the speakers louder. So why not? I guess I guess we're gonna do that. Um, this car is painfully quiet from the factory. It being an M, I need something. 
in the meantime you know what i'm saying so we're just gonna go ahead and do that real quick so last but not least we are gonna make the exhaust flaps stay open on this car so it is louder because with this car once you get into third gear and up the valves close i don't know why bmw did that but that's gonna change finally so this car should be significantly louder i can hear the downshifts better and everything so we're gonna go ahead and hit exhaust flap and we're gonna hit open. So this is closed. Open. That's much better. It's gonna be great for the tune. So now that we're back outside the car, I just wanna show you guys everything that I just did. Uh, right off in the front, as you can see, uh, the LED lights are on, but that little orange light right there is not. And I personally do not like the orange lights, so I like to just see the halos just looking clean. So if you actually just take a step back, you can see only the halos are on. And it kind of, honestly, I think it kind of gives it more of a newer kind of look. It doesn't make it look as dated. I, I, I don't know. I just don't like the U.S. orange marker i don't think the euro cars have that so so now that we come around back aside from my license plate which is new uh, we got the exhaust opened up unfortunately this is the only way you can get your new bmw to have the valves open all the time you have to basically get carly and you have to turn it on inside the app so and on top of that i just have all the comfort access features like for example i can just lock it it should roll the windows up and fold the mirrors at the same time, which is dope. this thing a lot more burbles and crackles and just a lot more car so i'm excited hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next video